Okay, so we're out here on my son's 2013 Camaro. And I've had a few questions about whether these Alltel scanners will, uh, you know, what kind of functionality they have on the airbag uh, system. And it's different on different makes and models, but on this particular car, uh, we'll go through and we'll see, uh, you know, what it's got. So get the uh, scanner connected up. Trying to get this position to where the glare isn't uh, going to bother you. So we'll go into diagnostic. Uh, we'll go into con manual control unit so we can select what we want here. So here's the airbag module. Uh, so ECU information, that's where you're going to get like your part number for your module itself. That's where it's going to also show the software. Um uh, th that's on the module so make sure the keys turned on yeah so here this is where it's going to show you everything that you're going to need if you know if you need to replace the module for any reason this is where you're going to want to get the the part number from so that's what that's what module uh information is now of course your trouble codes it'll have your live data uh so that if you're troubleshooting the uh airbag system it'll have all your live data and just to show you what, what kind of live data we got, here's the, uh, you know, some different parts of it that you can select and, uh, you know, choose from to, to, depending on what type of uh, problem you're having. And then you got active test. So you got passenger airbag off indicator, passenger airbag on indicator, and passenger seatbelt reminder indicator so you can test those to make sure those circuits are good then you got the special functions so you've got configure new module so if you did have to replace the module um you can obviously do that um reset high voltage disable request after crash event so on some cars if if it's been crashed you have to be able to reset that module um in order for it to work you can't just disconnect the battery either and connect it back up. You have to use a scan tool to actually reset it so that you can reuse it. That, in, in other words, after let's say that you had an airbag deployment and you've replaced the airbag, you have to go in and reset that module uh, before before your uh, SRS light's going to be off and you know everything's going to be good. So keep that in mind that if you don't have the capability to reset the module then you're gonna to have to take it into a shop or something to be able to have that done so and then of course if you have to replace the module you've got that function also uh, so you know that's also a good thing so that's what a lot of these new uh, or higher end scanners are capable of doing that a lot of the basic code readers and even the three or four hundred dollar code readers that have the live data and stuff they don't have this kind of uh capability you know this is a full bi-directional scan tool that allows you to you know do things like this so just uh you know keep that in mind if you are going to buy one of these uh pretty much on most vehicles if you have to replace a module uh, a lot of times you know this scan tool will be able to allow you to do that so uh you know that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I've had a couple people ask questions, you know, about, you know, will it do this? Will it do that? And instead of just telling them yes or no, I thought I'd go through and show them the airbag uh, functional functionality that this particular scan tool has. So, um, you know, there you go. And, you know, here's the main page. Of course, you got your ECM, your transmission module. You got a couple pages with all the different um you know modules on this particular car and this car may not have all these modules this is everything that this car could have you know depending on how it's optioned out but anyway this particular video is just about the airbag module and what it uh what the capabilities 
uh, have. So to answer the question, yes, you can replace the module. The scan tool will allow you to do that. And you can also reset the module after a crash. So, you know, that hopefully that answers the question as far as what capability this tool has when it comes to airbag. Anyway, that's about all I had. You guys take care.